Hey, good morning, guys. I decided to call this one my missing Sunday. Because I usually talk about family and everything, and it just seemed appropriate that this day would be... Like, you're kind of missing. Like, I miss my Sundays with my family. Meaning my grandmothers and my grandfathers. Well, I never really had a Sunday with my grandfathers. So, I wouldn't know what to miss. But I was missing time with, you know, my grandmother who really, really just loved Sundays in church. Because she loved family, as I've already said. And I'm missing her. And I just want to talk about missing, you know, those little parts of your life that you loved and you enjoyed, and it brings that little smile on your face when you think about it. That's where I am right now. And I'm saying that to say because on Tuesday, we're going to a funeral for a family friend. He was a really, really good man, and a lot of people will miss him and I will leave it at that but it just made me think of just what you do here and how it affects you there meaning there or there he's going there he's so up there because he was just a wonderful sweet man I um I just miss those good times. Like when I was little and I just played and got dirty till I fell asleep in the car on the drive home and your parents had to pick you up and take you to your bed or take you to get a bath if you're, you know, ridiculously dirty after playing so much. I remember I used to do that. I was always a bigger child, so not big as in fat. I was just like exceptionally tall when I was little, so I didn't really have those opportunities to get, they usually just woke me up and said go, <laughs> you know, because they, they couldn't carry my brother and I. I miss my high school days, and I think back to the stuff that I could have, would have, should have done, but you can't go back to there. I miss my college days, and what I would have, what I should have learned being in New York. I mean, I was in the height of fashion, and I was more terrified than I was amazed that I was right there, and I didn't realize that I was at a very good school, and to get in, it is very, very hard, and I just, I didn't let my, I didn't like throw it away, like, oh, I'm wonderful, <laughs> I just really lived it, and the situations that happened during that time influenced my decisions during that time, and I went and I didn't throw away my education or anything. It was a tough time, and I felt I was doing the right thing. I felt I had to. And um, my theater days, just being back in that moment with my friends and laughing and just working my butt off until the wee ridiculous hours in the morning and then going to a diner afterwards just missing those times with those people and what I learned and missing my teachers who aren't here anymore you know I talked about them they were wonderful teachers and what I could have asked for more and I realized what I got is what I was supposed to get. And what I got, it sometimes was more than enough. Because when I think back to what I've learned and how I'm using that now, it's beyond invaluable. So when I talk about missing, I mean, I'm actually missing the point of it. I'm 
just saying, oh, I should have done, should have, should have, should have. How about what I learned? How about what you learned and what you know now because of those, of that past incident, that past per, that past anything, that person, what you learned and what you're using for it now. I've, I am very, very thankful for what I have and I used it to influence what, where I'm going right now. And I know that everything that's happened to me and is happening to me has a purpose behind it and I should seriously learn from it. And I think it took me this long to figure it out and I'm figuring out now I've, I'm learning. I'm paying attention to it and I'm seriously learning and keeping it inside because it could be done at any minute. I could. Sure, I could go at any minute. Anybody could. And sometimes it happens. As it happened. And I'll let it go at that. So, when I'm talking about missing someone, just Take the lessons that you learned from that person and add it to the part that you missed and be thankful because maybe they were there just to give you that much. And like I said, it may not seem like much, but it is beyond invaluable. I feel like I'm just going everywhere, so I will stop it right here. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're getting back to it. And we're getting to the tag game. I told mom and dad about the tag. We're going to do it on Tuesday. And um, you're welcome to try it yourself. Look on, on the line. Just look up the topic tag. You will find tons and tons of questions. When I ask the questions, I'm going to ask you guys too. You're more than welcome. I got an answer from somebody. Thank you. You know, and here's another one. If you were a plant, what would you be? If that one's too hard, if you were a fruit, how's that? Have a great day.